Hello folks, and welcome back to Ravenport. Here we are in the midst of winter, and yep, in the last episode, winter was arriving, and it has fully arrived in its merciless force, and we've got some work to do, like, we need to get these contracts done, because we have a look... So yeah, we started some contracts and yeah, we started on twenty one or twenty two it was. Yeah, twenty one. And yeah, we made some decent progress. However, with snow we were struggling, so what got in done is for one we got some big duties on here. And two, I just want to have a look at something. Actually, I'm going to swap that bay around and upgrade it next year. So yeah, we we'll sell that now because we need a snowplow of some sort. And there is a modded one which I have found and hopefully it can do the job well enough because yeah, we need to get rid of the snow and that and yeah, I'll try to sort of spread it that so I don't think that's going to work properly. There's ice on the road, yes, that's fine. But for snow, I don't think it's going to really impact it too much. Yeah, I know there's slightly additive in here, but we can get some more additive with the slightly additive drum, so yeah. Let's head to the store and sell this. And then we'll have a look at what snow plan options we have. So there we go, at the store. And yeah, as well, yeah, as says, it's more of a realistic beta in that sense. Yep, that's good and all that, but yeah, I'm not interested in that, so let's go and sell that. I have found options for that in terms of better betas and that for a similar price, if not cheaper. In fairness, yeah, I went with it because of the whole site additive bonus, but I rather have. That uh, this, yeah, I think it's like a five percent yield bonus you get. But anyways, anything in the used market, yeah, nothing of interest in. But yeah, there is a snow plows and that. So you get some part of the CSZ pack, and yeah, get yeah. Actually, let's go under tools. So yeah, something like that. So blower. But yeah, I think did we try in that episode with Superpower? I can't remember. However, this may be a winner for us, so yeah, we want that. Ooh no, let's keep it red. Yeah, we'll keep it red, so that's gonna cost us 23 and a half grand. Ah oh, yeah, that's gonna be a very expensive purchase, but I think this is what we're gonna need to get snow clear because like like even like now we're struggling to back this thing up. And we've got duties on, so there is a variety of options, so I'm gonna just use the help menu, so L1 so that is up and down is that. So fair enough. That's for a tractor. Ah, yeah, let's go and send those. So there we go. But now, so let's go and to lower this. Remove the help window. And turn it on. And wait a minute. Okay, we are clearing snow, and that is absolutely interesting. Like, this is what we needed. So yeah, if you're in trouble, I'll get the mod up here. So under winter equipment, the Desert Two Six Two Monster V, and that is by the North Modding Company. So yeah, I just had a quick look on the mod up and that. Of when it was released and who it was by. 
But yeah, any mods I use, I will put down in the description down below. As I'm starting to do now with a lot more Let's Plays now going forward, I'll put mod descriptions down. So yeah, we're on the road, so this bit here, not too much of a problem. But look at that, we are clearing the snow. Let's find the sign. And yeah, with the nozzle we can go, wow. <laughs> So we can literally clear ways. So yeah, we can actually get these contracts done. And yeah, I know we've got some size now, but that's in February. I think if you're going to go into the field with this, what you would do is because yeah, even at its far extension, I'll say what's that about 10, 12 meters away? But yeah, so we can do like the headlands and that over fields. But then it's gonna have issues with when it comes to overlapping itself, so let's get up here, so I am gonna have the PD up the PD up so we can actually see where we're going or where we've been. But yeah, like this is making Mince me of the deep snow. Where have you been all my life? Look, 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 look forward. So, yeah, we're on 21, and yeah, we did a lot of work on this in the last episode with the peak plows we were using and the, uh, what was it, cultivator. But yeah, so I think the best thing to do is start clearing the snow out. Come on, get it right in there. So there we go, clear the edges of the fields. So this is going to actually show us the errors we've missed with the cultivation. Figure out the field boundaries. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong. We are bogging down a little bit. Suck on the sewer, sewer rift there. We actually know what? Overall, I am glad we purchased this, so it actually helps if you lure it. We just want to get to the edge of the field. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, like. Even with its full extension, we are getting to the edges of the field. And yeah, so I think the best thing we would do is <coughs> work from the middle and then go outwards afterwards. But yeah, we are clearing the snow. That's the most important thing. So actually, we'll have a chance to get all these contracts done. So yeah, field 21-22 reasonable. However, to get this done for field 5, which is that field, that's going to be a lot of snow blowing. But yeah, you know what? Actually, I am tempted I'll just leave it. But you know what? We're in the winter now, so let's go and do this. So, I'm going to get this all done. And I'll see if, yeah, I'll do the time lapse, some short clips of us getting this done. But for the most part, I'll see folks sometime later on, in a couple of hours maybe. By the time we get this all done, or at least to the point we can start cultivating these fields. Because, yeah, deep snow is no joke.
Well, there we go. And yeah, turns with his slow plowing, so low in that. We got small fields done, and um, for the large fields, one fields five. We got to about almost halfway, about 40% of the field is done. But yeah, I've got some logs. I've purchased a trailer and some fuel, and actually need to strap that down because, for one, our Deutsche Fart is always out of fuel. And two, I got snuck, stuck in the snow drift. Oh, I forgot about the brakes on this. Yep, stuck in the snow drift, and I spent the last five, ten minutes trying to wiggle it all out, and yeah, to no prevail. So, we're going to do a bit of a, a mini recovery mission. So, also, I fit tracks on this. Thankfully, this was actually free. And that is going to help us a lot. Especially now getting through snow. As well with the suspension as well, it's absolutely a beauty. So let's go and head over there and figure out what is wrong. So, yeah, there we are. As you can see, we've done, I'll say overall, a decent job. So, start from this side. This side is what we need to do, and this is about half of the field. Like you see covered in snow. And as we head over here, we've actually got a bit of snow on the road. But yeah, the amount of snow we're blowing and just creating these mounds. And that's how we got ourselves stuck. So I've tried wiggling around. I thought about doing a cheeky reset, but I thought, no, let's do something different. So what I'm going to do is, because we've got the winch system on this at the back, if I attach the trailer to the Deutz far. I'm thinking maybe you could attach it for the front there by the looks of it. So if we can set that up and then we could issue just winch, winch it all out. So, but yeah, how is this going to go? I have no idea. So yeah, actually, the fuel was, wasn't as bad, but still. So go and Unhook that. The problem's going to be actually getting it all attached. Oh, oh yeah, it's a swivel axle as well, so... Oh, this is going to take me a minute, so bear with me. But yeah, that's the thing I love about these. Oh, we're stuck. No worries. Just raise that baby up. There we go. And we're clear. So yeah. Let me get a set up and then we'll see if we can winch this baby out. Alright, so we've got this quickly hooked on. Yep, detach the blower and that. So yeah, that's what I want is extra weight to pull. Actually, maybe I should really need to do this. What I have to do was just ram it, maybe, but. So let's go add hook onto a log. So yeah, these ones I won't hook on to, but these it will, so there we go. Just pull it out. Oh no 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 tip it over. Just, just gently yank it. And actually one thing I do need to do is Yeah, control winch. Let the house of sack and then pull. There we go. I think we can pretty much drive it out now. And there we go, just try and drive it out. There we go, we have it just a little bit stuck, so. It's generally poor now. I wish we had like two people on that. But yeah, I think I can say that it's recovered, so. Let's detach the tree. There we go. Oh yeah, we're definitely free, but yeah, like... <coughs> just with this... That's caused so many issues, and... Yeah, I spent, what, last part two hours on this? And you know what? I'm half tempted to just say, you know what? I'm not so much giving up, I'll put it that way. But for now, I'm, just, I'm 
temporary amount of break. But yeah, that's like how we're doing it here, is so just go along the edges. And actually, I think I'll try different ways. I'll try to go in it forward, backwards. And yeah, it seems to be the best thing. It's a bit of a mixture of going forward and backwards. Because if you go backwards like this, obviously, your first point of contact is, of course, the so lower. But it does miss some bits, so it's when you're driving forward, like so, where you can get all the snow in that. Or say, in general, most of the snow. But yeah, like, we're getting to the point where we're almost done with this half of the field. Like, where that second line is, that's the edge of the field. Ah, yeah, this is where we're going to get stuck. Ah, right on cue. That's the problem, is like, you need to stick to the edges, otherwise, that will happen. But yeah, so, we've spent a lot of time on this. So I'm thinking, let's just sell this back, sell the stapler back, get rid of the logs. I guess it's forgotten, chopped down. We'll get them yeah, sold. I'm not sure how much, but we'll get them sold. Then from there, pretty much it's going to be. Actually, no. Let's take us back to the farm and try to clear a path first of all. So, yeah, you know what? Let's sell this. And then we'll skip to February and sell the signage. And alright, we're in February now. This is the best time to sell signage. And that is squatting like a. quite a bit there. But yeah, rows are still frosty as hell, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, don't need plowing again or blowing again. But yeah, I'm looking at. I completely forgot we had wheat in storage. It's not going to be worth much, and fair as we've missed the maximum price we could have got for it. But at the moment, we can still get it for 6 58 at the ranch, or take it on to trade to Alma, maybe. But yeah, we'll do that in a bit. But yeah, first of all, what I want to do is sell the sugar beet. And yeah, we need to head to the bell cell point. And yeah, let me crash into a tree there. So yeah, we're selling for 642 at the moment, so overall not too bad. I did try to finish that Colvin contract, but on field 5, but with man off. Yeah, just with the amount of snow left on there. We'll wait till spring, that would get done first thing in spring and that. And you get 21 and 22 is done. Free ground for that. Also, I've gone and spent some money. We purchased there's nothing else on the used market of interest, but yeah. We purchased the MKS 8, that was on second hand for just over 10 grand. And why? Because we can do propane and Obviously there's other tankers that can take methane, but not many can take propane. And for 10 grand, I thought, heck it, it's worth a purchase. Because yeah, especially to get down to the roots off, to get like the corn drying on the way. Because we so need to make money, and we're in, what, seven episodes in now, and yeah, we're going to make some huge amount of money from signage. About 30, 40 grand or so. But yeah, I need to need to look at field purchases because part of the goal of this series is to purchase every plot of land on the map and it's going to be one of those things once we get that ball rolling it's just going to be magnitude scale from there and yeah there's all the snow that will be blown the last month but yeah so we need to head to the bell cell point which is just up here north so yeah I'm going to head over there a sec Hopefully I don't tip this, sure, it's not too bad. Did need to raise suspension just a little bit to cover the snow, but... Yeah, I'm going to see folks at the bell cell point. And there we are at the animal deer ship, so... The bell cell point is just over here. So yeah, about 35 grand I'll say we'll get, 30 to 40 grand. So 
see that money going up. So 24,500. And along with an additional 17,000 pounds. So that is 30, 41. Actually over that, about 42 grand almost, give or take. So yeah, overall, not too bad. And now to sell the barley. And yeah, I meant to beat not barley. Um, yeah, again, I know we're going to get too much from it. That's because we've got small fields at the moment. We've got small plots of land, so... We'll sell that, and we'll get... Yeah, five and a half grand for that. But I do have some huge plans, so... Head back to the farm. And yeah, my thinking is... Obviously we're going to be merging these fields, but also we do have some items, so sell that for 10 grand, sell that for 49 grand, let's say 50, 50, 150, no not the farmhouse, not that barn there, 150, just like, yeah I'll say about 200 grand we can get from this. Chicken pens, I will keep. I want to get chickens at some point, but at the moment we're not at that stage. So, with that 200 grand, in theory, obviously it's not set in stone yet, but we can get pretty much any plot land we want. There's forestry that we can do, 59 grand for that, and yeah, like 73 grand. I'm thinking for 200 grand, can we get any of these big fields like? We are very close. We get like 27 in that. Obviously there's nothing planted yet and ignore that. But yeah, we obviously we drilled field 8. 600 grand. That ain't going to be for a while. But yeah, what about get these? That's 110. 180. Oh, 280. But yeah, get these three plots of land. But then again, yeah, I'm thinking, honestly, purchase something like this have a look up north 400 grand 150 whoa wait a minute 24 grand for that land ok fair enough it's got the green elevator there and all that but yeah, I just want to look at where the road comes out so the road comes out of here and the track goes along here and that apparently <coughs> actually that may be the old track as well because we noticed that with some of these paths now are a bit funky but yeah like got access to all of this area down here up to is that including field free no but yeah even that that plot land there that's what I say is arable compare compare it to our fields down here yeah, that's pretty much the size of all three fields put together. And in fairness, if we want to, we can sell everything and upgrade elsewhere. Downside is, I don't think we can get the chicken pens, because... Yeah, go to... Because, yeah, you've got the cow barns and that, that's good. But if we go under chickens, yeah, there's nothing by... Um, Sabuki and that. However, I do have two mods enabled. So we've got the Red Barn Pack and the War Chicken Coop. And I think that one is actually by Sabuki. So perhaps what we can do is sell the land in that. How much do we get? So that is. Ooh, 29 grand. So yeah, I'm seriously thinking of literally upgrading everything. Sell the farm. Sell the farmhouse even. And yeah, what do we have for a farmhouse? So I see we've got some of the platinum stuff as well. Even like we've got the portable seat trigger. At the moment, I'm not too fussed on having a house. Can I have a hut in that? I think that's by Omaton as part of the Wheel Mills pack. And yeah, seriously, we can upgrade and route the farm and that. So yeah, obviously, come down below. Should we sell the farm? 
sell all this we'll get some decent profit back purchase tw fill 12 fill 12 yeah this should 12 or 22 <coughs> and yes I will look at in terms with land land for buildings and that in terms of storage again there's some mods that we can use so I'm looking at I think that's what we're using at the moment for 25 grand and yeah there's there's plenty of mods around and I'll have a little look around even that something like that would be even better for us so yeah I think that's what we should do but it's gonna be a while yet before another episode comes out maybe that time of this posting about a couple of days and that so yeah comment down below let me know on what we should do should we yeah upgrade farm that because i want to progress in that and i think this is a good way to do it yes it means send all the fields and that however we start fresh and yeah if we're doing corn or soybeans and that this year that's what i'm thinking of doing we can get the corn dry in that dry the corn and get some huge profits from that at the end of the year so yeah let me know but anyways i'm gonna leave it today and as always hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash that button further comment down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed to yet then please consider but for you to do hope you're stay but for now it's me from our envelope stream and i'll see you all very soon